so to uh, review everything that I've said so far, in the very first stage of, of asymmetric division, the Z protein is remodeled to form rings at each pole of the sporangium. Then one of these two Z rings is converted into a division septum, and the other Z ring is disassembled. Next, uh, chromosomes need to be segregated into the two cells. And so while the Z rings are forming, the two chromosomes are remodeled into an axial filament by the RAC A protein, which causes them to collapse into a elongated filament and anchors the origins at the poles where the DIF4A protein is present. Then asymmetric division takes place, and the DNA translocase located in the division septum pumps the remainder of the four spore chromosome into the small chamber of the sporangium so that when this process is complete, we have two cells that lie side by side, each has a complete chromosome. In the next stage of development, the mother cell membrane migrates around the four spore to fully engulf it and pinch it off as a free cell within a cell. So now the process of sporulation is well underway and that inner cell will mature into a spore. This conversion of that inner cell into a spore involves three principal morphogenetic processes. One is the remodeling of the chromosome into the four spore into a donut-like structure in which state it's highly resistant to radiation. The second is a formation of a thick layer of cell wall material called the cortex around the four spore, and then a thick protein shell made up of many different proteins that creates a protective shell around the spore. This next cartoon illustrates these processes. So you'll see the four spore be chromosome being remodeled into a donut. The white area is, is the cortex, and a thick protein shell of coat proteins is created on the outside. This then matures into a, a spore, a golf ball-like spore. The mother cell, having done her job, lyses and liberates the mature spore, which can remain inert for many years. But on a moment's notice, when good conditions return, it can crack open like an egg and give rise to a cell that can resume vegetative growth and binary fission.